Um, hello, everyone. I'm very glad here to speak at this summit. My, and my topic is improving smart seek performance by 13%, how we optimize packet filter pushdown and packet reader. I'm Sun Ke, and I'm a senior engineer of data engine team from Bad Dance. First, let me introduce who we are and what we do. We are data engine team of Bad Dance, and we build a platform of one-stop experience for OLAP on which users can analyze EB level data by writing SQL without caring about the underlying execution engine, for example, Spark SQL, Presto, or Hive. Mm. We manage Spark SQL, Presto, Hive workload, and we offer OpenAPI and service overlap platform for users in bad dance. At the same time, we optimize Spark SQL, Presto, Hudi, and Hive engine in deep. Also, we design data architecture for most business lines in bad dance. Okay, next is my agenda. There are three parts. First, Spark SQL and Band Dance. Second, how Spark SQL read the packet. In this part, I will introduce what we can do to improve Spark SQL and the packet and per performance. Third, op optimization detail of packet filter pushdown and the packet reader at Band Dance. The first part, Spark SQL at Band Dance. In 2016, we started to use Spark SQL in small scale experiments. In the next year, we use, we use the Spark SQL in ad hoc workload. And uh, in 2018, we started to use Spark SQL in few ETR workload. In 2019, we deployed Spark SQL in full production and started to migrate from Hive to Spark SQL. In this year, Spark SQL is the main engine in data warehouse. By now, Spark SQL covers 98% ETR workloads in bad dance. And uh, packet is the default file format in data warehouse. And uh, vectorized reader is also enabled by default. We find that vectorized reader can improve Spark's performance greatly. In many cases, the, the read is 50%. The next part, how Spark read the packet. This part is divided into three subparts. First, overview of packet. Second, procedure of packet reading. Third, what we can do to optimize. First, overview of packet. And show in the right figure. This is the layout of Packet from the official website. And we can see Packet file is divided into many root groups and a single folder. And the root group and folder have their statistics. For, for example, minimum and maximum. And Spark and Packet can skip use this data by filter pushdown using folder and root group statistics. For example, if the maximum of the root group is 10 and we, want, and we want to query data greater than 20, Packet can skip this root group by, by the statistics. Okay, and uh, we, can, <laughs> we all know Packet is a columnar uh, storage format, so it's easy to do column prony and, uh, column prony and uh, it's more efficient to compress data in Packet file. Next, I will introduce the procedure of packet reading in Spark SQL. The entry is data source scan execution class, and this class invoke packet file format, and the packet file format invoke vectorized packet record reader, and this class is the most important class in packet reading. Vectorized packet record reader skips uses row groups by filter pushdown translated by packet filters and uh, vectorized packet record reader builds column readers for every target column. And these columns readers read data together in batch one by one. By one. For example, uh, we want to read uh, three columns. The vectorized packet record reader will build a three column reader. 
Okay, next I will give a circle example to show how Spark read Paquit. The circle is select star from table name where date equals someday and the category equals test. In the table, date is the partition column and the category is the predict column. And the uh, package file is uh, the package file uh, and the statistic of the package file is in the following chart. For example, the minimum of category in row group one is A1 and the maximum of category in row group one is Z1. So we need to read this row group because test is in the value scope of this row group by the same logic. By the same logic, we need to read row group two and row group three. So Spark reads all the three row group because the statistics of the three row groups are not distinguishable. In our production environment, packet filter push start works poorly because predict columns are out of order in packet files, and this phenomenon is reasonable. So it's very valuable to sort the column use the predict columns in packet files to reduce I.O. Next, I will give another circle example. The circle is select, selected column one from table name where date equals someday and uh, column two equals test. And the packet file is in is as the, the following figure. Row group one is skipped by filter push down and uh, column three is skipped by column pruning because column three is not uh, involved involved in the SQL. So columns one and column two are read together by vectorized reader. In most, in many cases, as the first rate of the expression column two equals test is very high, the most data of column one is unnecessary to read. So it's very valuable to read and filter data by filter columns first, and then skip useless, useless data in the according row number and only read the useful data of other columns. So I have finished the, I have finished the, the optimization introduction and then the optimization detail of Paquita filter push down and the Paquita reader and vendors. First, we find that statistics of Paquita are not distinguishable. So we want to inter increase Paquita statistics discrimination. But our users have some requirements. They want low or head. It's so, so all data is based on all even, all even impossible. So we can only sort every single file. And also they want automation because they don't want to update every ETL jobs. So we propose a feature named the local sort, which add a sort execution node before insert into have table node. In this feature, we thought Spark will sort some columns in every single packet file to increase packet statistics discrimination. By using log sort, the execution plan of Spark SQL is as below. And we can see a sort execution node is added before inserting into help table node. Here comes the question, which columns to be sorted? And our strategy is to analyze the history queries and choose the most column use the predict the columns, and then configure sort columns to table property of half table. And the Spark SQL will read this property during execution time. The procedure is automatic without manual integration, which meets the user's requirements. Just like the previous example, 
after sorting data by column category, the statistics of published is in the following chart. For example, the minimum of category column in row group one is A1, and the maximum of category in row group one is G1. So we don't need to read this row group. And the minimum of category column in row group two is G2, and the maximum of category in row group two is U2. So we need to read this row group. And uh, the maximum of category in row group three is U3, and the maximum of category column in row group three is V3. We don't need to read uh, this row group two either. So after using log sort, Spark reads only one row group, and uh, this feature reduce Spark uh, and uh, this feature reduce I/O greatly by using log sort. Spark reads less data for more efficient statistics, and the packet file size is much smaller for data. For data is more efficient to compress. Because we only sort the columns in every single file, the overhead is only 5% in production experience. Okay, I have finished the <laughs> optimization detail of packet filter pushdown. Next, I will introduce optimization detail of packet reader. And we find that Spark reads too much unnecessary data. So we want to, we need, and we need to filter unnecessary data and so and possible. So we propose a feature named Prevail. And this idea is from Clayhouse, which, uh, which is also um, famous, uh, famous, uh, famous OLAP platform. In Prevail, in Spark read data or filter columns in batch firstly, and then <coughs> we skip other columns as the data is unmatched with filter columns in the same row. row. And then we only read the data, uh, and then we only read the data which is matched with the filter column in the same row. And how we achieve this feature? We split packet reader into two readers. First, the filter reader for filter columns and the non-filter reader for other columns, as we can see in the figure. Next is the procedure of packet reading. First, we use filter reader to read data in batch and then apply filter expressions, expressions to data. If unmatched, we continue to use filter reader to read data <coughs> until uh, it's matched. If it's matched, we use non-filter reader to read, read to read data in batch and uh, skip useless, useless data in the same row. In the end, we reunion the data from filter reader and after this procedure, we achieve great benefits. In some cases, we can skip page, packet page. In some cases, we can skip packet decoding. In some cases, we can even skip packet root group. In our production environment, the common use of the types are supported. For example, byte type, short type, long type, double type. And uh, the most uh, <laughs> common use of filter type are also supported. For example, greater, greater equal, in is not is not known. After using log sort and the prevail, we achieve, we achieve, we achieve the great, great benefit and we improve Spark SQL performance by 13% in many cases. Okay, that's all. This is the end of my session. Thank you.